Hi everyone, this is Janet, and I'm here with another video of a couple things that I was able to work on yesterday. I got the idea a couple days ago, and I went to the thrift store and to the fabric store, and I gathered what I needed to go along with what I had my already in my stash to create two very special gifts I'm going to be giving away. Um, and I want to share them with you first. So, here they are. I have made for myself, I have two in my dining room, uh, Lazy Susans that I could use for parties to put desserts or sandwiches on. And I was thinking about the pin cushions that I was making for a couple of the girls in our church that are going to be having baby girls. The ones already had hers. And I started putting a teacup together for the one. And I thought, wow, how about a Lazy Susan for in a little girl's room to keep her little barrettes and little flowers and headbands and that on. And that's when I decided to create what I'm calling a little girl's Lazy Susan. Now, this one I've named the Pink Owl. Uh, Lazy Susan because the girl I'm giving it to her little girl's room is going to be done in owls and butterflies so I have well, I was at the store and I was checking on fabric for different things and I found this owl fabric let me see if I can get this down and it has owls all over it and I thought well the top part the teacup that I'm going to have on top I might as well make in to an, a pin cushion and then just do two uh, a two tier and down here I have a glass cup probably a punch cup from a punch set and um, that's what's holding the top tier on and then I just took two plates that I had got at um, I believe I got these uh, this particular plate I think I got at the Penny Lane thrift store here in Vandegrift and then this plate here I got at a Goodwill up in New Kensington, up in uh, Trenum, uh, Trenum Heights. And then, of course, I had a lot of the lace and the flowers and everything I had already in my stash. I didn't want to fill it with too much because it's going to be you uh, making it for um, the little girl's hair pieces. I did, however, make one of my little um, purses out of the clip binder, and I did it in pink with a hot pink flower, and then the center of the flower. It's hard to see it, but the center of the flower has an actual brad, and then I put lace around it, and it has a pearl handle. And then up here on the pink cushion itself, I put a bow with another flower there, and I have some roses here, and then on this side as well. And then two kinds of lace that go around uh, the cup. And, of course, the pin cushions inside. And you know me, I can never do, um, I can never do um, a pin cushion without putting uh, some stick pins in it. So I had some real pretty um, pearls. And then I have these little uh, charms that go on. And I made three of them. They all match. Uh, to go in this particular uh, uh, pin cushion that I've made. So that's the pink owl one. Now the other one that I made is a very light green. Here it is here. I use a real light green material because the mama that's going to be getting this one, she did her little girl's room in um, a seafoam green and a peach or like a coral. And these two plates I actually got at Penny Lane down in downtown Vandergrift. The lace, of course, is lace that I have in stock. I keep it in stock. I used the same cup here and here as I did on the other one. I just decorated differently. And then down here I made, again, uh, one of my little purses. And it's sort of a lime green with a peach and cream colored flower and then some cream lace along with um, a pearl handle. And then up here, I used uh, the same kind of lace I used here. I put around the rim of the cup, along with some um, darker cream fancy lace around as well. And then I added some pearls around the whole thing to um, 
show off the pin cushion. And on this one, I did, I actually did the stick pins differently. This one here with the two shades of green and then a little yellow with uh, one of the uh, charms. That one. And then this one is kind of special. I did, of course, let me show you the back, the two peach um, or coral colored uh, pearls I did with one of the uh, brown charms. And then um, this is this is actually green, but it is a very light green. Let me move this. Uh, it is so light you can barely tell. And then I took a bow and a rose and I attached it to the um, crystal charm up here to make that stick pin. And then this one I made, uh, the pearls here are both the same color with a very light yellow and then a rose patterned uh, charm there. So that's the stick pins I made for that one. Let me show you the back real quick of the back of the cup here. I put a little rose inside of a daisy here. Let me see if I can get it down a little bit more. It's not going to work there. And then a little heart bead with um, a bow there. This one tends to be a little bit higher because of the type of plate I used. But these are my latest creations. And I just thought it would really be cute in a little girl's room to have a place to put all her but uh, all her barrettes and her hair ribbons. And if the mother's using cloth diapers, she can even keep a little extra um, um, safety pins here. And it would, it would also decorate the room a little bit. But this is the lime green one. And then this other one here, again, is the pink owl. I call this the pink owl one. And one thing about the pink owl plate down here, it does have a little bit of a pattern a very light posies on it. It's really cute. So this is my latest creation, and I wanted to share it with all of you first. Uh, this will be given away next Saturday at a baby shower. Uh, the green one, I'm not sure when I'll get it to the, uh, to the lady from our church. She's already had her little girl, and um, I'm not sure when she'll be in church because she's still you know, having that time at home to rest and get onto a good schedule. So once I see her, I'll be able to give her that one. But I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope you like my creations, and I hope you leave a comment for me. Thanks for stopping by, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.